My name is Mrs. Zahida Iqbal. I am assistant professor for psychology at Government Girls Degree College, Samsama. You know, the world today is facing corona pandemic and majority of the world population is staying at home. The world has never witnessed such situation in human history. There can be many topics for lecture. However, I have selected such topic which may be of use of all the students in particular and all the listeners in general as it is related to everyone. So my topic for today lecture is stress management. In a medical or biological context, stress is a physical, mental or emotional factor that causes bodily or mental tension stresses can be external from the environment, psychological or social situation, or internal like illness, form of medical procedure. In psychology, stress is a feeling of strain and pressure. Stress is a type of psychological pain. Small amount of stress may be desired, beneficial, and even healthy. Here I would like to tell you the types of stress. Dear students, there are two types of stress. You stress, which is called positive stress. De-stress, which is also called negative stress. The example of you stress would be a challenging work assignment that is perceived to be neither too difficult or too easy. Another example would be a strength training workout. The example of distress on the other hand is a negative form of stress, a feeling of pain, suffering or a state of being in trouble. Now let's discuss with the causes of stress. The death of loved one, divorce, loss of job, Increase in financial obligations, getting married, moving to a new home, chronic illness or injury, emotional problems such as depression, anxiety, anger, guilt, low self-esteem. So these are the causes. Now let's, my dear students, we are going to discuss the stress management techniques. There are 15 techniques which we are going to discuss today. Awareness, relaxation, compromise, have a good cry, interpersonal communication, think positively, laugh, avoid self-medication, know your limits, clarify your values and develop a sense of life meaning, connect with others, manage time, Talk it out. Take a my minute vacation. Problem solving. So these were the techniques. Now let's discuss these points in detail. Number one is awareness. The initial step in managing stress is awareness. As one becomes aware of stressors, he or she can omit, avoid or accept them. Number two. Relaxation. Individual experience relaxation in different ways. Some individuals relax by engaging in large motor activities such as sports, jogging and physical exercise. Others are using the technique such as breathing techniques. The third step is called compromise. Consider cooperation or compromise rather than confrontation. A little give and take in both sides may reduce the strains and help you feel more comfortable. Number four, have a good cry. A good cry during periods of stress can be a healthy way to bring relief to your anxiety. Number five, interpersonal communication with a caring Others, the strength of one's available support system is an ex existing 
condition that significantly influences the adaptiveness of coping with stress somewhat times just talking the problem out with an individual who is empathetic is sufficient to interpret as question think positively six point refocus the negative to be positive make an effort to stop negative thoughts managing stress is all about taking charge taking charge of your trout thoughts your emotions your schedule your environment and the way you deal with problems the point 7 which is called laugh maintain your sense of humor including the ability to laugh at yourself number 8 avoid self medication alcohol and other drugs do not remove the conditions that stress although they may seem to offer temporary relief these substances only mask or disguise problems in the long run alcohol use increases rather than decreases stress by changing the way you think and solve problems and the impairing your judgment and other cognitive capabilities medication should be taken only on the advice of doctor point 6 point 9 know your limits there are many circumstances in life beyond your control consider the fact that we live in an imperfect world know your limits if a problem is beyond your control and cannot be changed at the moment don't fight the situation learn to accept what is for now until such time when you can change things point 10 clarify your values and develop a sense of life meaning clarify your values and deciding what you really want out of your life can help you feel better about yourself and have that sense of satisfaction that helps you deal with the stresses of life a sense of spirituality can help with it, with this technique number 11 connect with others a good way to combat sadness boredom and loneliness is to set out activities involving others manage time number 12 make a list what must be done what should be done what would you like to do cut out time wasting learn to drop unimportant activities point 13 talk it out when you feel something try to express share your feelings bottled up emotions increase frustration and stress talking with someone else can help clear your mind of confusion so that you can focus on problem solving also consider writing down thoughts and feelings putting problems on paper can assist you in clarify the situation and allow a new perspective point 14 take a minute vacation imagining a quiet country scene can take you out of the turmoil of a stressful situation when you have the opportunity take a moment to close your eyes and imagine a place where you feel relaxed and comfortable notice all the details of your chosen place including pleasant sounds smell and temperature or change your mental channel by reading a good book or playing relaxing music to create a sense of peace and tranquility and the last point the last technique of stress management is problem solving which is a very important technique 
an extremely adaptive coping strategy is to view the situation is to view the situation objectively after an objective assessment of the situation the problem solving decision making model can be instituted as follows number 1 assess the fact of the situation number 2 formulate the goal for resolution number 3 Study the alternatives. Number four, determine the risk and benefits. Select an alternative. Number five. Number six, implement the alternative selected. And number seven, evaluate the outcome. So this this is all about strategy strategies which we have discussed. I hope the lecture of today must have left impact on your minds and hope by using these stress management techniques one can fight the stress prevalence because of the today corona virus pandemic hope the world will return to normalcy soon inshallah thank you very much for giving your time thank you